Hitting that freaking button feels like free falling. <laughs> Seriously. It's kind of the worst. Yeah. It literally feels like I'm just tipping over building, just letting it drop. But, all right. So I was thinking when I was setting this up, which is just my camera on a windowsill, I'm looking in someone else's room and I'm waiting to see when they notice that. But anyway, um, that this would start, to, I, I was thinking that, gosh, is this going to start feeling repetitive for me? Setting this thing up, sitting here. And um, it doesn't because I don't have any idea what's going to come out. And what I've been experiencing this morning is just an overwhelming flood of ideas, thoughts, emotions, and I've been sitting there feeling them. And I actually did my one hour meditation and I had uh, one of my best ideas. I'm an overflow of ideas. It's actually sometimes why I'm afraid to feel is because I feel like a flood comes with it of ideas. I can fill up a notebook a day. That is not bullshit. You ask my kids, I have piles of them. People go, do you write them down? Then you won't think about them. Oh, not true for me. Not true. They're like, I give birth every five seconds. Oh, this. Oh my God, that would be amazing. And then they go, yeah, but people like it. Anyway. So this idea I had was actually for a video or a small video series about feelings. Because the conclusion I'm coming to is that people can sell you whatever. This is how you feel better. This is how you look better. This is how you fulfill peace. None of it's going to fucking work. None of it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if I wrote it down and said, please buy it. This is how you do it. If we don't feel our feelings, none of it will work. None of it. We are a nation in a world who acts out irrationally and crazy and sadly and all this stuff. But we don't feel any of it. We're taught not to feel, but we're here to feel because we have a body. Yeah. Years ago, I was in Atlanta. I was thinking this morning. The... Amount of freedom you can have in this life is your willingness is equal to your willingness to be a fool. Like, how willing to you know how big of a jackass you're willing to look like to everyone else, even to yourself, is how free you're ever going to feel. Well, I went and did this thing that people would think was crazy down in Atlanta, and it was I had to do this computer and um, just looking at your thoughts and your feelings and whatever. And um, one of the most terrifying experiences of my entire life. And sometimes that's what feeling your feelings and deep work looks like. Um, and at the end of it, I started to experience uh, something or see something kind of like a, a meditation. And like I said, this is the first time I've actually done meditation. I don't sit there like this. I don't do this. I don't get the beads out, whatever. I sit there. I lay there and just let it run. If I'm trying to control what's coming through or release it or thank it or appreciate it or whatever, that feels like control and that won't work because I'm here to feel something. And that is the biggest thing I saw when I did this thing was I started to see this woman in my head and like she was there to, to teach me why I'm here. And it wasn't a job or to be creative or to have money or power or how to be successful. It wasn't any of that. I literally just asked this woman in my head. She didn't talk to me. She, um, I said, Will you just tell me how, how to live. I mean, what, how do I live and just have peace or freedom? And this is what I saw. She went like this. And I sat and looked at her and I'm like, cool, cool. And then she showed me sitting in a car and she put her hands on the steering wheel and she held the steering wheel. And what I realized is that she was showing me, no, and then she went and laid on a bed and she put her shoulder down and her shoulder down and she eased back, she fell back in the bed. And I realized what she was doing is 
she was feeling what she was feeling when she felt it. So when she waved her hand, she felt her hand waving. Because guess what? And this is a guess. When you're dead, you don't feel your body. This may be why we're here. To play with a body. But we said we fight with our body. Because we don't want to feel our feelings. So she waved. And then she put her hands on the steering wheel. And I could feel my hands on the steering wheel. And then laying into bed. And what occurred to me was, that's honoring being here. That's honoring my body. That's honoring me and that moment because I'll never have it again. I mean, do you ever you know, think of laying in a bed like, I'm giving my body a rest because I love it. I made myself breakfast this morning and I don't do that very often and it's not a good habit for me because I end up getting headaches. And then I'll realize at six o'clock, you know, I should, didn't eat. And I do it all the time. And when I made myself breakfast, I was like, that was so nice of me. I mean, I'm grateful when a waiter brings it to me. And I brought it to myself. That's pretty nice of me. So when I saw her lay on this bed and she just sunk into it, I was like, oh, if I lay on a bed, I'm like, oh, I'm not comfortable. Mm. I get up in the morning and how to do this and that. And like, I hear a noise and oh, the light's on. And I don't like the way this blanket's laying. And, mm, mm, mm. And my head's already running and what went wrong that day and what's the meaning of the universe and oh I'm too hot and change the AC and what it just it just keeps running. It keeps running. So I'm never present in my body and just sinking into the experience of touching this hair and braiding it. Feels pretty good. If I'm paying attention and if I'm feeling it. Because we're all striving for this feeling, but we're just given the feelings. Don't cry, or I'll smack it out of you. I'll give you something to cry about. All right, so now I'm 45 and I'm crying, and oh, it's awesome! It's awesome. <laughs> Salt water, tears in the sea. My, my two new favorites. So I'm actually going to let all this ideas come forward because my mind starts going, well, yeah, but you committed to the videos and you're committed to this book. And so you can't do this other thing yet. Like this is what you do. You get all these ideas. And I think it's important to set an intention and then not know how you're going to get there, which is what I'm doing. And so I'm just letting this stuff come up. And so... You know, if I ease off in one area or I see that something actually would serve a bigger purpose for myself and then maybe others, I'm just going to let myself be open to that. Um, another thing I notice about the mind is I keep saying, oh, this thing, this thing. Well, I'm starting to feel gratitude for this thing and I'll tell you why. Because yes, this thing resists this thing. But we need them both. Gotta, gotta love them both if you want to start being free. So attacking this doesn't work either because it's the system here. And what I was thinking about is like, this is like a toddler yelling like, I don't want this or pay attention to me or give me this, give me that, blah, blah, blah. Like the days when your kids are in a tantrum and you want to smack them, like that's what's running. At the same time, if this isn't here, I can't articulate. I can't turn on my phone, I can't drive a car. So basically, this is a toddler that knows how to drive and we can't go unless the toddler's driving. So I read a book about a woman that had a stroke but she's also a brain scientist. And so she actually could watch what was happening in her brain and knew it all at the same time and she wrote a book after she rehabilitated herself. And so while she didn't like that her brain was yelling at her this and that, she saw once that part was gone, it was like, there was no linear time. Everything was coming at her at once. Uh, didn't know how to dial the phone to even call 911. Didn't know how to do a lot of things that she did that took the creative, intuitive part and could express it. So, 
be great to shut this off, but then it might just sit there like a blob and that might be fine. But I like art. I like uh, talking. Uh, I like hugs. I like, but you know, my brain's got to tell me to move that and then move that. So I'm starting to sit there and when I feel this come up, I, I go into my feelings. Yes, I had some anxiety and I sat there with it and I just let it talk like a little kid. Like, oh, I'm scared. He didn't reply. That means he doesn't like you. I want him to play. Wah. Like, ah. And then I just went, you're just adorable. You're just this little thing feeling. You have some valid points. And um, I know you also know how to drive. So I'm going to sit and listen to you. And put the feeling on my lap. And just that with the feeling. And then the feeling ran off and wanted to play with someone else. And I was okay with that too. But that feeling is there to protect me from what it thinks will hurt me. And don't you want your friends to do that? You know? Don't you want to text like, by the way, look out for so-and-so. Or prepare yourself for a text that's coming from mom. Or what, whatever. But don't you appreciate those little nods sometimes? Like you look at those people as loyal. You look at them as true friends the ones that go hey i know you like that guy but he's hitting on everybody else and or he sent me a weird text the other day those are your friends but when this one does it like hey just be careful that you don't look too insane on the video because then you know people aren't gonna like you but it's trying to help so i'm looking at that i'm looking at it in that way for the first time but it's trying to be a helper. It's the little kid that wants to bake. And you're like, you're not helping me. You're slowing down the process here. But the kid wants to bake with you. Maybe, maybe the kid thinks you're cool. Maybe my mind thinks I'm cool. And it's just like, hey, I want to go too. I want to go too. I think you're cute. I think you're fun. You're nuts because you're getting on this video. But I want to do it too. Maybe. I don't know. So this is just... An experiment it's just an investigation and I'm willing to let it be that and I'm gonna go but I was just thinking earlier I have this rebels have more fun and I was thinking now rebels feel their feelings and it's so uncomfortable for everybody else and I'm okay with that